How's it going? Look at this. Check out this bad boy. What the freak is this? Look at this thing, guys. Be critical of this thing. What? The Bass One Hunter. It's just a kayak. <laughs> you like that, huh? No. I mean, uh -huh. maybe. Well, hold on. It's got like a what? A, a pretty seriously defined tri hole design. Is it supposed to be stable? Is that supposed to make? Is it supposed to be stable? Yeah. It's supposed to be real stable? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this just confirms everything I ever told you <laughs> about how the kayak market is doing what? Trying to go boat on a see bigger, me. fatter, uglier kayaks. You won't see me. I'll be kicking. Nah. You'll be, <laughs> you're never going to get this thing? No. Nope. I mean, let's be honest. Okay, so let's see. It's pretty. Oh, man. This is what he wanted me to demo? He wanted me to take this thing. God, it's so ugly. I'm rolling up to the bass boat, guys. They're gonna make fun of me in that gym. What, what is this? Well, then I've screwed both times, right? Power. Power for what? For the trolling motor. There's a trolling motor? Yeah. Where? Can you see it under the boat? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that makes it way cooler. Does it like pull up? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this thing a lot more now. Right. I didn't know that it was, that it had, I was wondering what the hell that was. It was just like all Christmassy looking. Uh oh. So it just goes straight, no turning. But no, you turn, turning. you turn with the rudders. Yeah, oh, so you, you has rudders. Where's the rudders? Right, there are rudders right here. We just put this on there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, if we're being honest, I probably would rather have this than a standard kayak. Just because for one, you can put a motor mount, even though I think it's sketch. What is this, 30, 36 inch wide? Is it? It's not quite as wide as a Hobie, is it? Inch. No, that Hobie is, God, that Hobie is so fat. 38. What is that, 42? No, that, actually, this is 38, so this is- Yeah, like that can't 30, be 30. Two. If that's 38, this has gotta be 32, yeah. 34. That's a little bit wider than, well, the Riots are 32. So, yeah, it's about as wide as the Riot, huh? But it's got a bigger, deeper tri hall design than the Riot, and it's got higher walls. It's got things that I like that I appreciate specifically. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the higher wall in the kayak. I was not digging yeah. that bull One person or 250 pounds. I mean, so it's only gonna hold me 400 pounds person motor and gear. Okay, there goes, okay. So you really need that little small Suzuki. Good. What's up, man? Nothing. All right. You're filming me again. Yeah. What about this bad jammer? I think that's uh. That's epic. You landed that on? Did you land that at yard sale? So you can get this thing uh, without the motor pod. You mm -hmm. can get it without that, just the regular electronics pod. So transducer is going to get mounted to the bottom of that. Mm -hmm. And then your, your battery and gear and then your mount on top. And then this is your motor pod. Um, and then the rudder is controlled with the top of the pedal. So those will go back to your, your rudder unit. So you can oh, run that's it. That's sweet. Dude, you got to go online. Gotta go what? You're gonna have a- Why don't you come out with me? We have this thing here. I have a bet with Justin and Ben that this thing is not going to start when it's on the boat. I do not think it will. Slowly, man. Yeah. All right, that's enough. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. The thing is full. <laughs> Fifty-five cents. <laughs> Dude, any way you can save, any way you can save money in today's time is. Get yeah, my truck smelling like gas. Yeah. You wear this thing. Look at this thing. This thing is light. This is cute. Right. Very cute. Shoulder press. Strong man. Alright, here's in my dirty truck. Got one bait, one rod.
You're on it. Oh. That was sketch, huh? All right. Yeah. Back after we were before we were talking about. It. There you go, dude. It's pretty portable. All right. Not bad, huh? No, not at all. Here's to not dying. Let's see. All right. Oh. Dude, whatever, this is sketch. All right, turn around and sit down. Oh, I guess, huh? Everything got better when I sat down. Turn around! No! Stop! Well, definitely moves. Through the water a lot faster than a John boat. <laughs> like. I did it. Don't let the boat go. True story. All right, got it. Our guy's gonna get the motor. I got it. Okay. If I'd have told him anything for the mole press, I would have made a little lip right here so this could never, ever, ever, ever possibly slide off. Because I mean, I don't know if plastic has the rigidity that wood does. And even the wood transoms, they slide off, so. Oh, two, three whopping miles an hour, I'm gonna get out of this thing. Let's see if this thing will start. Choke on? Yeah, chokes, chokes out. Is it in neutral? I'm gonna get an electric outboard. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> yeah, I love, you know, we've all grown up on gas, but if I had an electric outboard this, we have no just problem. go. Yeah, we just go. There oh! it is, see? <laughs> this thing is gonna bust. No, but it's for sure. It's warmed up. It's ready. It's not gonna stall on me. My fear is it's gonna stall. Well, maybe it might. It's slowing down. I don't know. We got all the crap out of the garb. Maybe it'll work. Let's do it. I can't even reach the pedals. I'm not like eight foot tall. Dude, 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 dude. What? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to move this so I can reach the pedals. Why well, you need the? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm gonna fall in right now. Oh yeah, you're snapped. I can see it, dude. All right, hold on. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, but the tension, right? That's for when you have the, the trolling motor. Oh, there you go. No, but these steer the rudder, don't they? Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, you don't. Oh, yeah. all right. Okay, good deal. I'm trying again. All right, we're gonna go. This time for real. I'm launching. Where's neutral? All right. So far, you know this is actually not too bad. Go. 
kind of too afraid to go over there. Yes, we do. Alright, we're going over here because I'm too chicken to go across and actually fish a good spot. All right, let's hope that you start again. Ain't no point in using this. Can't stand up and cast. All right. In calm conditions, this is okay. I forgot my life jacket. I'm an idiot. I just realized I forgot it. So now I'm just gonna stick real tight to shore. That way if I fall off, I'll just look like a moron and go to shore. Like, I won't die. Okay, not too bad. Like when I had to like sit here and shift weight to my leg. Last time I tried to do that on, on the on the other kayak I did, I literally I pretty much almost fell. So that's a plus. It really is. You know, this is actually not too bad. I mean, I'd imagine you wouldn't get much better performance out of a ten foot jump boat. I've never converted a ten foot jump boat or even messed with one, specifically because of those problems. Trying the trolling motor feature would have been pretty tight. Come on, there's gotta be a freaking smoker back there. Come on. Just chilling back there? No? Eh, it happens. The trolling motor feature up front is probably invaluable. It's probably freaking phenomenal. Probably thing actually probably swims really good. Yeah, it'd have really sucked if I'd have got stranded on the other side of the lake and had to paddle back. This thing is a slug. It does not paddle fast at all. The sketch water test. Let's see what it does in slightly chopped water. Clearly not too much, cause well, the light vest. All right. We're right here on this flat. Can we suck a fresh into it? This is a little bit more sketch. Hey, I'm gonna sit down for this. like the best spot to keep stability is holding the seat right there. Like you're grabbing your crotch, but you're not, you're grabbing the seat. to thank Justin and Ben from Southwest Outfitters out here in Lake Havasu City. They're the ones that allow me to check that boat out and demo. They said, hey, you should check this thing out. It's called the Johnny Boat and it's a little plastic boat, which it is still very slim on like a kayak, but you know, I guess they're calling it a boat. Some people just refer to them as boats, but, but if, if you're really comparing that to like a standard, an actual John boat, the Johnny Boat versus the, like a 1032 John boat, I probably, the Johnny Boat probably does take it. It's probably very comparable in price, comparable in weight. We tried, you know, the weight test, it's very portable. Um, what I was a little bit more surprised at is the, I'm about 240, that's a 10 foot boat. 
I won't go on a 10 foot jump by myself without a bear hole one. I just personally, not my thing. They're too sketch, but those little, those that tri hole design it had, you know, when you're, when you leaned on one side, when I leaned on one side to cast, do a side cast or do any cast really, it was, it wasn't that bad. There was a little bit of rolling, but the whole thing with the tri tune is it stopped. I mean, I'm sorry, the tri hole is that it stops. Eventually enough displacement sinks into the water, the water won't allow it to sink anymore. Just, just the pressure. And so right about here, you could feel it where I'd have to like lean on the side to really get it to sink more. But as far as like weight distribution, I think that's a very, very big thing. I've always been super critical about that on kayaks because of their slim, slim line and just not a whole lot of it there, no walls. They did have some walls, I think about three or four inch high walls. Any walls better than no walls. Like in a kayak, there's like no, no. So actually it was all right. Maybe, maybe closer to six inches, not too bad. Would I use that thing? Yeah. I would take that thing somewhere up in the White Mountains or somewhere in Flagstaff into one of those little small remote lakes um, where it's just not really feasible to drag down a boat and throw that in there. I throw that thing in my toe, I throw that thing in my toy hauler, throw a few of them in there, or I throw it in the back of my truck and haul it out there. It even has like wheels in the back. Like it, that was like a bare bones one. Like the really fully decked out ones have little wheels in the back. So like rolling it into the water isn't an issue like it was with us. And I really could have planned the whole thing out smarter. Probably would have carried that thing out to the dock, launched it from the dock put the outboard on so we weren't just doing it right there on the ramp. There's smarter ways to do it, but it's rated for a 2.5. That little 2.5 outboard, <laughs> it was uh, all torque, no speed. So I'm thinking that really, if you got the trolling motor set up, it'd probably be almost as fast as the outboard. But the whole thing, if you have an outboard and a trolling motor is you can really use the trolling motor for what it's meant for is trolling. It's not really meant to propel you around the lake like an outboard is. That outboard had a fuselage. If you get an electric outboard, some of the electric outboards that are comparable to that 2.5 Suzuki will actually get you out there faster, you won't have any startup issues. You'll actually have the down to the minute, the amount of power and the amount of distance you can actually go so you don't know if you're ever gonna run out. So there's a lot of there's a lot of cool things that come with a lot of the advanced technology that actually propel a small watercraft like this pretty exponentially high. But being out there, being able to reach it, it wasn't uncomfortable. It was even for somebody that's like me, who's maybe too big for a 10 foot boat, I, I think it was all right. I would use that. I mean, that's one 10 foot kayak that I didn't feel like I was gonna die on. It was actually very stable. As far as like rowing, ability i you know it wasn't as clean as say a, a more slimline kayak that doesn't have a trial design it's more there's more design for speed obviously but then you sacrifice speed for stability but even even with the trial design being a little sluggish it's still easier to pedal than a 10 foot john boat um, i mean when you're talking about like a, i'm talking about like a 1032 john boat or a 1030 john boat which is a typical john boats at a 10 foot range sometimes i mean they started making the 1040 john boats those got to be extremely stable but also extremely hard to push to the water with oars you might get a whole whopping 1.5 miles an hour at top speed killing yourself so i mean but by the time you get a boat that big you probably got a motor on it whatever but again i'd like to thank justin and ben for the review we're possibly going to make a review series of stuff like that i would like to possibly mod a kayak but i'm only going to do it if you guys want to see it so let me know in the comment section do you guys want to see me mod out a 14 foot kayak with like mods. I think that'd be very usable for somebody my size who doesn't necessarily want to pedal all the time, but maybe sometimes but most of the time use motors and other stuff that's cool. Let me know. I'll talk to you guys later on the flip side. See you around. All right. You're filming me again. Yeah.